Genesis 13, 5 through 18, and 14, 8 through 16. Lot, who was traveling with Abram, was also rich in sheep and cattle and tents. But the land couldn't support both of them. They had too many possessions. They couldn't both live there. Quarrels broke out between Abram's shepherds and Lot's shepherds. The Canaanites and Perizzites were also living on the land at the time. Abram said to Lot, Let's not have fighting between us, between your shepherds and my shepherds. After all, we're family. Look around. Isn't there plenty of land out there? Let's separate. If you go left, I'll go right. If you go right, I'll go left. Lot looked. He saw the whole plain of the Jordan spread out, well watered. This was before God destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah. Like God's garden, like Egypt, and stretching all the way to Zoar, Lot took the whole plain of the Jordan. Lot set out to the east. That's how they came to part company uncle and nephew. Abram settled in Canaan. Lot settled in the cities of the plain and pitched his tent near Sodom. The people of Sodom were evil, flagrant sinners against God. After Lot separated from him, God said to Abram, Open your eyes, look around. Look north, south, east, and west. Everything you see The whole land spread out before you. I will give it to you and your children forever. I'll make your descendants like dust. Counting your descendants will be as impossible as counting the dust of the earth. So, on your feet, get moving. Walk through the country, its length and breadth. I'm giving it all to you. Abram moved his tent. He went and settled by the oaks of Mamre in Hebron. There he built an altar to God. That's when the king of Sodom marched out with the king of Gomorrah, the king of Admah, the king of Zeboim, and the king of Bela, that is, Zoar. They drew up in battle formation against their enemies in the valley of Siddim, against Ketalomer, king of Elam, Tadal, king of Goam. Amraphel, king of Shinar, and Arya, king of Elisar, four kings against five. The valley of Siddim was full of tar pits. When the kings of Sodom and Gomorrah fled, they fell into the tar pits. But the rest escaped into the mountains. The four kings captured all the possessions of Sodom and Gomorrah, all their food and equipment, and went on their way. They captured Lot, Abram's nephew, who was living in Sodom at the time, taking everything he owned with them. A fugitive came and reported to Abram the Hebrew. Abram was living at the Oaks of Mamre, the Amorite, brother of Eshcol and Anur. They were allies of Abram. When Abram heard that his nephew had been taken prisoner, he lined up his servants, all of them, born in his household. There were 318 of them, and chased after the captors all the way to Dan. Abram and his men split into small groups and attacked by night. They chased them as far as Hobah, just north of Damascus. They recovered all the plunder along with nephew Lot and his possessions, including the women and the people.